First topic today, we want to predict every single Big Ten tournament game one by one. So I'm going to pull the bracket up here, uh, and then we're just going to go through and tell you how the Big Ten tournament's going to play out. I think last year we did this, and I think last year we got everything wrong. So, well, yeah, I, I mean, did we? We didn't. Ex- we expected Michigan to show up and maybe not lose the very first game to Rutgers. Ex- expected Michigan State to maybe show up and not lose the first game to Ohio State. That that would have that would have helped some things out. I think. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. Most most definitely. Okay. Uh, let me find. I want like the visual version of the bracket, not the one that has bullet pointed games. Here we are. Big bullet point. Also, this is in Minneapolis. Why again? Why why are we doing that again? I don't know. This when that that was where media day was too, right? Yeah, we're we're really catering to Ben Johnson too much for my liking. Like earn it a little bit, you know, something like yeah. that. I don't know. One hundred percent. Okay, I can't find the visual version of the bracket, and I'm in shambles about that right now. That's unlike you. I know it's not good. Um, oh, I think I found it. I found it. Yep, here we are. Okay. All right. Clutch. Game one, 13 versus 12 seed Rutgers against Maryland on Peacock on Wednesday. No, no way to kick off this tournament like Rutgers, Maryland. Who you got? Peacock with Robbie Hummel on the call, most likely, because he's on every call. Um, I was very disappointed with Rutgers home showing against Ohio State in the last game. Um, that that offense output again they had versus Michigan was fake. That was just Michigan. Uh, I think I would like Maryland to pull out this game mm. because if there's a team too that I think can look at this bracket and be like, maybe we could beat somebody, that like maybe we could beat anybody, I would pick Maryland to do that over Rutgers. I just think Rutgers is not good, semi broken. Cliff Amaru's handler is already saying he's not coming back and not doing transfer portal or anything like that. They just want to they just want to get Ace Bailey and Dylan Harper on campus and yeah. get 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 the next get the ball rolling for next year. Yeah, there's two teams that got a great draw here for a, a miracle run. More on that later, but Maryland is one of them. Um the issue for me is doesn't this game scream to you same energy of Rutgers Michigan in the first round last year? Yeah. yeah. Where it's like Rutgers is like they should hang it up on the season. Who cares? They're not doing anything. And then there's like the team with talent that should have been way better and wasn't, but clearly like hates each other and has problems. We all are gonna just circle Maryland and think they win, but like wouldn't be surprised at all if it's a total stinker and Rutgers dogs them because Pykel's a good coach. Um, with that said, I'm picking Maryland. I'm not learning from my mistakes. I think uh, they have Jameer Young. Rutgers does not. That should be enough to win at least one game in this tournament. I'm I'm with you on that one. Okay. To uh, my team in the bottom half of the bracket, 11 seeded Penn State versus 14th last in the Big Ten seeded Michigan Wolverines. Uh, no Olivier Kamwa. Otherwise, I would try and talk myself into Michigan showing up for the first time in three months. Hard to do that. The body language is horrendous right now. Could this be the last game of the Juwan Howard era? Who's to say? Penn State, Michigan. Who wins? Penn State. And I and I think it's in final, like, embarrassing fashion to, like, put a little sour cherry on top of this dog shit Sunday. Like, it's just going to be awful. I think Penn State's going to blow them out. Okay. I think Michigan's up nine at halftime and then loses by 11. Ooh. So you think they're actually going to show up? I think they're going to get to Minneapolis. It's going to be a complete no-show. I don't even think it's a show up. I just think, like, like Doug will probably hit shots again. Like he was doing that against Nebraska. He had 17 points at half against Nebraska over the weekend and then zero in the second half. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I still think like this version of Michigan with Doug shouldn't get ran out by Penn state at the beginning of it, but will it ace, ace, ace ball when might have him in a straight jacket. Yeah, it's very possible. Penn State at least is like playing inspired ball together right now, but I don't think that team's any good. Um, yeah, Penn State wins though. Okay, Maryland and Penn State get the win to the is this the quarterfinals? No, the second round. Eight nine game. Michigan State Cormac in the land 
of Cormac right now in Minnesota. Minnesota in Minneapolis is the draw for Michigan State. We talk about teams with a good draw. Your Spartans draw a Minnesota team they lost to in their home state and then Purdue if they win. That's a pretty nightmarish draw. You can say whatever you want about like the state of the team or the mentality. You can't tell me any team's not looking ahead and knowing they have Purdue awaiting them. That's going to hang over this game a little bit mentally for me, both for both sides, both Minnesota and Michigan state. Like I think some years you pull up to this tournament thinking you can win the tournament, make a run. And then I think some years you pull up being like, damn, we're going to get wrecked in game two. That's whatever, whoever wins this game knows that's coming. Uh, Who do you think wins the first game? Uh, I I think that Minnesota wins this game. I think it's going to be a, I mean, Michigan State fans will probably travel well just because they do do that. Um, But obviously, games in Minneapolis. Um, Minnesota hasn't been playing the best ball as of late either, technically. Uh, But obviously, either as Michigan State. I just think that Minnesota is the better basketball team still right now. I disagree with you there. Um, I'm going to pick your Spartans to win this game. Why? (laughs) Not anything about Michigan State that has me picking Michigan State here. Um, I so body language PhD back with Minnesota. I think something is like truly intrinsically broken with this group, and I don't know what changed. Um, they were playing really, really good basketball. All of guys, guys out the door, maybe. Yeah, I think it's that. Like all of February and even late January, they had a, a stretch where they won five of seven, and just even the losses were really competitive. Like at Iowa, at Purdue, single digit ball games. This team was playing great. Their last five games, they got blitzed at Nebraska, gave up 105 to Illinois, beat Penn State, but that was a game they were down 41 to 18 in the first half at home at the barn to Penn State. Like, so your one win, you were down 23 in the first half to Penn State. Uh, and then they lose at the barn by 12 to Indiana, a wire-to-wire loss. That was the game after Mike Woodson was announced he was coming back. Uh, and then they got blitzed at Northwestern without Ty Berry, lose by 24 in Evanston. Uh, this team is horrendous right now. They're in shambles. The eye test tells me something is completely off. Like this, this just isn't the team they were a month ago. And I think you're right. If I had to pinpoint it, I think it would be my guess is Dawson Garcia is very publicly gone. And I think he's been shopping his name around, if you believe the rumors. And I think that has basically killed the team chemistry on this team. So you saying that is all more so the reason why was uh, why Minnesota is going to win this basketball game, too, by the way. I don't know about that. I don't we're know. The, we're the band aid. We're, we're the Big Ten band aid. We're the drama fixers. If things are going bad, play us. We got you. You just lost Liam McNeely. You just have Max Exodus rumors. It's okay. We got you. Come play the Spartans. We'll yeah, but Indi- Indiana was playing better before that, though. They had won three straight coming into that game. Minnesota's winning this basketball game. Uh, the Big Ten Band-Aid is a bar by you, but I still don't see it. Um, do we want to do a coin flip since we disagree? We have to come to agreement here. I don't have a coin. Uh, we could do, like, a couple curls. Whoever does 10 curls quicker gets this one. Don't you have curls in, like, all right, ready? Ready, set, go. Seven, eight, nine, nine. ten. That's a lie. What? You you did nine. Cut the tape. Go ahead. You can get Michigan State. I'm not going to argue. No, you go ahead. You want Minnesota to be Michigan State so bad, you take them. Okay, Minnesota. That's crazy. All right, Minnesota advances. I get the uh, to pull rank next time we disagree. Maryland against Wisconsin in the whatever game that is. 11, 12, 5, 12, 5. Who wins? Not 12, 5, 4. I can't read the numbers. My eyes are bad. Who wins? Man, I, I want to pick Maryland real bad, but I think I need to realize that it's it's still Kevin Willard, and it's still this Maryland team. I think Wisconsin finds a way to win this basketball game. This this league stinks. This tournament's not going to be fun. We're sitting here talking about Wisconsin finds a way in the second round. Uh, what happened when these two teams played each other this year? Do we know? Mm, I can't. Remember. I think I I want to say Wisconsin. Wisconsin won at home at the Kohl Center. It got like randomly close at the end because I remember that Maryland covered even though they were down for most of the game. Oh yeah, Wisconsin won by four at the Kohl Center. I'm taking Maryland to win this game. 
you yeah. really. I think Maryland is the team with a run in them this week. Define run. A run. <laughs> Winning these two games that you just, we just talked about? Yep. Okay, I'll let you get Maryland. I'm not willing to fight to the death for the Badgers. Okay, yeah, NIT DNA, broken, dead team that has nothing to play for. They know they're in the NCAA tournament already versus a Maryland team who does have star power who needs to win this tournament to make it. I like that. Um, Ohio State, Iowa on the other side. Winner gets Illinois. You can talk me into Ohio State if you want. I don't see, like, a special run coming from them. If they win this game, I think they get blitzed by Illinois. Um I think Iowa's a better basketball team, but Iowa isn't playing great right now. Who do you think wins this one? Yeah, I think that Ohio State's Lynn Sanity run comes to somewhat of an end. I think Iowa's the better basketball team. I also like I like Iowa to bounce back after the offensive performance that they just had. Like I don't think they do that two times in a row. Completely agree with you there. I think they make some early shots and it's like, oh, we're here today. Also, last year. I think Ohio State had some magic in the tournament, kind of what I'm alluding to, I think could happen for Maryland here. Um, This year, I think if they get down like seven, Roddy Gale and Bruce Thornton are looking around like anybody from the portal here. Like is anybody scouting right now? Yeah. Like I I don't think there's a lot of want to from Ohio State this year, even even though dealers got things going well. Also, spin zone. This is the moment where they're going to look around and wish they had Chris Holtman. Really? Yep. Ah, that Big it's a, it's all been cute. All that little regular season hoo ha. That's been cute. Uh, they're they're gonna look. There's gonna be a moment in this game where you look around and say, "Damn, I wish we had a real head coach who took yeah. us deep in this tournament last year." Yeah, like deep. It, it, anyone can do it. You know, at a nice home game in cozy Value City Arena with the number one team coming in right at the the you know the little bounce. But can you do it on a cold? brisk afternoon in Minneapolis. That's what I ask of you. And I don't know if he can. Yep. All right. Uh, Bottom of the bracket, Indiana, Penn State. There is not a game in Big Ten tournament history I've been less excited for than this one. Winner gets Nebraska. I hope this game gets canceled. Um, I, You know what? I have a hard time not picking Indiana with the way they're playing. Yeah. To be honest yeah. with you, yeah. Like, just th- that front court – with wear and renew, and then you had the addition of what Mbako's played like over the over the past like month. I I like it as long as Trey Galloway is healthy. They do need him. Yeah, I completely agree. They need him healthy. I think he will be healthy. They'll be fine. Uh, Penn State beat Indiana twice this year. Beat him at Assembly. They shot forty three percent and fifty three percent from three in the two games they played Indiana. Something maybe good matchup there. Um, they certainly have better guards. I'm going I'm to take Indiana, though. I think Indiana is playing a lot better. Can I make one quick comment based on uh, some YouTube comments I've seen uh, from Indiana fans? Yeah. Just really quickly here. Um, congrats, like, on getting guys back, but the victory lapping for returning Anthony Leal and Trey Galloway is very telling. Uh, it's okay. Okay. Let, let them be happy. Let, let them be happy. Their team's winning. Uh, <laughs> To the quarterfinals where the number one seeded Purdue will be taking on the nine seeded Minnesota Golden Gophers here. Um, I think the big question everyone's asking is Darius Rucker going to be in attendance? I can't name one Darius Rucker song. That's okay. Did he cover Fast Car? <laughs> he did not. Okay. I'm just wondering. He could never. Um, I think that this game would actually be quotation mark fun just given i think the environment if in minneapolis minnesota plays the number one team purdue they actually had a good game against them uh at Mackey and found themselves up i think it's a game that would get up for with that said despite it being a good game i think purdue wins the basketball game yeah i thought minnesota played lights out when they played in Mackey. 12 for 25 from three 48 percent lost by eight uh Purdue wins. This is the Purdue Invitational. It's not the Ben Johnson Invitational. Purdue will have no trouble in that game, in my opinion. To the game right below that, Northwestern, the four seed, against Maryland, the 12 seed. I've been saying Maryland a little run here. They'd have to get through Rutgers, then Wisconsin to get to Northwestern in the quarters. 
I'm letting you go after me. I got Maryland winning this game. Everybody, everybody's a gangster until Budarius walks through the door. And shame on and shame on you for picking against Budarius in a tournament setting. You don't think he's making it? You don't think he's winning one game in the Big Ten tournament? No. Here's Budarius. why. Here's why. They don't need to. They don't need one to feel I mean, they're no. in. They're they in. Need- they're in. There, there's nothing here other than playing for a Big Ten title. And again, if Northwestern wins, they know they get Purdue. No, nobody's itching to like get Purdue again. Um, this, I th- this Maryland draw and this trust in Willard. I did, it's not wow. trust in Willard. It's trust in Jameer Young in a in a single elimination setting. Give the ball to him and get out of the way. And I think he has a special run coming. It's it's right there. Rutgers and Wisconsin are horrible right now. And Northwestern, I uh, at full strength, I would love Northwestern. I'd be picking them to go deep in this tournament and maybe give Purdue a run for their money. They're not at full strength. They're still missing their center and Ty Berry. And teams that are missing that many guys that know they're in the NCAA tournament and aren't playing for their lives don't care about their conference tournament. Like, I guarantee you Chris Collins just wants to get in and out of there without another serious injury. Maryland wants, like, this is it. This is the entire thing. We saw Ohio State get all the way to the semis last year through three straight wins and then end up facing Purdue. I think this league's exactly like it was last year where it's wide open. You can't trust any of the teams on the 4-5 or five line. Trust the team with one of the best guards in the league. That's playing desperate. That's Maryland to me. I got them winning. I'll let you pull rank. All right. Wow. So Maryland all the way into the semi with Purdue. On the other side, it would be Illinois, Iowa, round three. Rivalry game. Who you got? Who do we have beating Nebraska? We haven't had that yet. Oh, still haven't got oh. I, I told so Nebraska's a what? Three seed? Three seed protected seed. Yeah. Double bye. Nebraska double by what happened to the game I love in, man? in this economy yeah and what happened to the game I love Greg truly um I mean I think Illinois <laughs> don't overthink it yeah I, I was I was going to but I just think Illinois wins I'm going to go Illinois as well. Also, I'm just reeling at the fact that I am picking a Maryland team that's lost eight of their last 10 to win three straight in this tournament right now. Jesus Christ. Well, that's uh, a big time. <laughs> Nebraska, Indiana. I want to say Indiana. I'm okay with going to Indiana if you want to go Indiana. Um, I do think of the like... Of the, like, plucky teams here, I think Nebraska might want this the most and feel they have a good draw. Like, they're on the opposite side of Purdue. Their first game is going to be Indiana or Penn State. You should be automatically in the semis with that draw. Like, you, mm-hmm. you're Nebra- you need to beat Purdue – or not Purdue, sorry, Penn State or Indiana to make the Big Ten tournament semis. That seems like a time to, like, come together and try and make a run. And they are playing well right now. Um but I, I'm fine going to Indiana because they've been winning everything lately too. Yeah, I, I think Indiana wins. You, how do you think the front court matchup goes down in that game? I Nebraska, that... Nebraska smacked Indiana both times this year, eighty six seventy and eighty five seventy. Do they get pack, getting packed up three times like that? Is very very tough. It is. Do they do it again? Are we overthinking it? You tell me. You know what? It's okay. It's still Indiana. I want to. <laughs> let's let's yeah. Come on, we're giving them the Michigan State bump. Like yeah, I'm with you. I, I think this is where it ends. I think that's where it ends, and Nebraska keeps going on. Um, by the way, if Indiana did beat beat Nebraska, like if Indiana won two in this tournament, got to twenty and thirteen on the year. Is that not like a maybe bubble team? Like, like at what, what point do we have to have the Indiana conversation? What's their best win? <laughs> they don't have one, I don't think. I think that's is that was killing them. Like they Wisconsin, Wisconsin at home, Michigan State at home are their best wins. And those are not that great. Right. Well, depends on who you ask. Ken Palm says they're great. Yeah, well, Ken Palm's wrong. <laughs> All right. So we're going to Nebraska? Yeah. All right, so our semis are Purdue, Maryland, Illinois, Nebraska. One, 12, two, and three. Purdue versus Maryland in the semi. Can the Cinderella run continue? No. Purdue, ball's over. 
Purdue by like 45. If this is at, if you got a Maryland team that's played 120 minutes in three days against Purdue, Purdue blitzes them. Yes. Illinois, Nebraska would be a really fun semifinal. Winner takes on Purdue. Who would win? Illini. Only played once this year, I believe, in Champaign. Overtime, 87 84. Fun game. Uh, I don't want Nebraska here. Do not pick Nebraska to do the outscorey scorey transition thingy thingy more than Illinois. But Illinois' offense is kind of brokey brokey. I know one way to fixy fixy it. They're trying to guardy guardy. You don't <laughs> you, you don't guardy guardy Kise. True. More scorey scorey. Yeah. You oh, see, you're, you're rocking with Illini? I'm rocking with you. I I I think we get a Purdue Illini rematch here's my i'll you get to pull rank so in the end we can put illinois through but here's my final pitch to you on why i would p- take nebraska in this game which one of these two teams do you think wants to see purdue with the title on the line again wants to see purdue yeah with a title on the line they because they, this game will be played after purdue's already stamped their ticket to the title game which game do you believe in your bones in your heart who actually wants to see purdue with a title on the line here I think Nebraska. It's Nebraska. Like you, I'm just doing the the mentals here, but I believe this. I saw it. We saw it with our own eyes. We went to Champaign. This team doesn't want no smoke with Purdue. They don't. They they want to pretend all season long that they do want smoke with Purdue. And then when it's time to get Purdue for the title, they tuck their tail and they shake. That's what this team has done. Nebraska ain't doing that. Nebraska can pull the we're the underdog card. The, oh, by the way, we killed y'all the first time we played y'all card. Like, to me, there would be nothing to lose for Nebraska, and they don't fear those dudes because they ran them out the gym when they played them in Lincoln. Illinois can pretend they don't. Illinois fears Purdue. They want no part of seeing Purdue for a third time for a banner, and uh, I think that would hang over this game. If it got to, like, the, the whatever 7 p.m. tip or whatever it is, knowing the winner gets Purdue tomorrow, I don't think Illinois wants those problems. I think Nebraska would be eager for the opportunity. You're spitting. With that said, Illinois. Still Illinois. So you're pulling rank? Okay. Yeah, I'm pulling rank. All right. To the title game, it's Purdue, Illinois. I mean, I, I can't pick Purdue fast enough if that's what it is on the neutral court. Yeah, Purdue. Do you think it gets dicey at all? Like, is it is it close? Uh, uh, What range of points would you call dicey? Like a single-digit ball game. Yeah, I think a single digit ball game. Okay. I hope it would be like close with like four minutes left and then kind of like what happened in Champagne. Like it's it's a toss up game and then people got to make plays, see who makes them. I hope they both score 80. <laughs> That's all we care. How, how many does Dane have in the title game? Seven and four <laughs> okay. in 11 minutes. All right. So according to us, Purdue's about to win their fourth championship in two years in the Big Ten. Purdue Invitational. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for taking a ride with us once again. How much are you dreading watching this tournament? <laughs> I'm very much dreading it. I've I in my life has been very hard. Look what Matt Painter's done to us. Brutal. Okay. Uh <laughs> last question. If we Will, combine Will Bird owns us, by the if, way. If we combined every single player on every other Big Ten team and every other coach got to combine group project style. And the goal was just beat Purdue in a 40-minute basketball game. Are you taking Purdue or are you taking the rest of the Big Ten against Purdue? Taking the rest of the Big Ten. I don't know if I am. If if Nebraska can beat this team by 20, I think a conglomerate of Big Ten great players and a conglomerate. Who are the Big great Ten. players? Who are the great players? Like Boo? It's add Boo to Illinois. That's it? Uh, that's, that's not it. I wouldn't say <laughs> it. It's a strong word. That's that's pretty much it. <laughs> like, Great ass. I think they'd step on each other's toes. I don't know. I'm just saying. All right. Let's move on.